What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. Now this is a new series I want to bring to you guys and it's all to do with my favourite apps for certain months. So we're going to start off with the iOS device, then we're going to move on to the Android device of choice which is going to be the Galaxy S20 Ultra once that arrives. Obviously we're going to start with iOS right now and then we're going to go to it every couple of months or so and we'll do more apps. Right, okay, so here's some apps I've been checking out during the course of February into the beginning of March. So the first one we're looking at is called Double Drive. Now what Double Drive is, it's a bit of a subscription service. You get seven days free to check it out, but then it's $1.99 for a month or $14.99 for the year. Now what it actually is, is a dash cam. And what you're able to do is you're able to see the focal length from outside the car and the focal length from inside the car too. You're also able to change the focal length from wide to ultra wide with the way the camera is set up on the Pro Max and the Pro obviously. But you obviously you can download this for any of the iPhones and still get the front facing and rear facing camera. And it acts as obviously, as I've said, a dash cam. But it also has the integration of Apple Maps. But I think that does need changing because when you go into the navigation side of things, it it's not very good. It needs changing the uh, the way you type your the place where you're going needs to be looked at. I will say that it's a great app for one ninety nine a month. Definitely worthwhile if you're looking for a dash cam and you're just going to want to plan on using your phone and maybe you've got it attached to your windscreen on a mount, like I've got with the Mega Mount one. You know, it's definitely something that's worthwhile. As you can see from the overlay in the video showing you what the app is, it's definitely. A worthwhile app even at 1.99 a month just to give you that peace of mind when you're on the road in case you don't want to get a dash cam okay so the next app we're going to look at is called dolby on now i've been using this a lot as my main voice recorder now for overlaying video you can also make video so you can recapture your video with a dolby sound it sounds really good but what i'll do is i'll overlay the audio from this clip in a second over the video so you can see for yourself so this is just a brief test with the Dolby On app. Okay, so as you can see what it gives you. Noise reduction, dynamic EQ, stereo widening, compression, de volume maximization, normalization, easy fades when you press stop. Okay, so it, track one is saved. So what I'll do is I'll obviously, as I said, I'll overlay this. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But I've been using it to record audio just lately for the overlays on the video and stuff like that. Next up. Just like a bit of a, a break killer. So it's called Smash Cars and it's obviously a game. Now I don't normally game on my phone, but I have been as of late. So once this loads up, at the moment I've got a police car, but I can go to my garage, change it to, I can buy that. And as, of, as you can see, besides the police car, what I've also got is my Tesla Cybertruck, as well as the car I started off with. But if we click on play, as you can see, I've got a race lined up. I'm on 309. I've got over 4 million in the bank right now. I've been playing this quite a lot. It is just a great little break time killer. But let's click play. It's wait for people to join as it is actually an online game, as you can see. But you just keep your finger on it and then wait for it to go red, drive, avoid the obstacles like so, drive through, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. To break, you literally just take your finger off, but I don't think I'll need to. There we go, perfect. And across the line. Now, the only issue I can find right now is there's a lot of adverts, and there's a lot of adverts to gain extra points. Like, so you can claim three by watching an advert. So you gain 5,000 reward points. And if you click that, you click, obviously, you get three times the 5,000. But you click no thanks, your reward, you need to click on that to get an extra 20 to get that and you will get that at the end of it. Click continue. And it hasn't showed me an advert which is a good thing but it's what it does normally. It will show you one every now and again. Like it's obviously got one here overlaying here across the bottom of the game. So that's Smash Cars. Okay so next up is an app called Adobe Spark Post. Now what I've been using this for is me Instagram stories. So if I go in and I'll show you one. So if you click on it, so you've got a load of templates you can choose from or you can go in and just add your own photo. So let's do that. All photos, let's choose one I took yesterday. Click add. Okay, so now what you can do is you can size it to how you want. So you've got Instagram landscape, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube thumbnail, 
you can do a lot of stuff in this but obviously I've been using it for Instagram stories just lately so as you can see you can go in you can crop it to where you need it to be you click done then you get a thing saying double tap to edit text so if we could title this Osmo mobile and three click done as you can see it brings up that but then you can go ahead and you can remove the watermark the Adobe's watermark from the bottom it's now removed you can style this move it shorten it make it bigger move it to where you want it you can go font change the font you can go color You've got loads of suggested you can make your own or you can go basic so if we make that a bit bigger put that in the corner click done you can then go you can adjust it adjust the looks enhance it and then you click done at the bottom and then you've got you got a choice of colors animation layout resize and click animate you can animate the text to basically do what you want it to and then make an instagram story out of it you click done again at the bottom this is only a quick reference this is what, what, what wouldn't be what i normally do click on the top click video animation create the video then you can share it to instagram snapchat message save the video copy the link mail it and a little bit more i've never actually clicked on more to see what it does i'll just send you to your recents let's move on to the next one this one i'm not going to talk about just yet i'll save that till the end of the video this one is called hustle so what it is i've been going to the gym i'm back in the gym now because obviously see myself on camera wasn't too happy with how i looked i've been a bit lazy back in the gym now and this is a selection of gyms you can go to you select your area and then you just basically hone it in you can click on list it lists gyms in your your area you can pay £4.50 to go just the once basically so if you're ever in an area and you're staying in a hotel that hasn't got a gym you want to hit up a gym perfect for me I'm going to be using it for this which is pools, saunas, stuff like that so if I want to go and have a quick sauna, steam room, jacuzzi select one of these, the cheapest one I've found £4.50 Momentum Leisure click on that, click pay walk in, here to use this, here's the email and you just go in next up is an app called Send Anywhere I'm not going to click on it as I'm not going to go into it too much I'm just going to tell you what it's about I've been using this for my Android phone obviously when I want to send files to the MacBook or to the iPhone click send anywhere and it's almost like airdrop for Android so it's worked out pretty well for me when I need to send video files or photo files over from the Samsung's that I've had over the last couple of weeks and then the OnePluses and stuff like that too I'm just waiting on my S20 Ultra now as I said I'll still be using send anywhere when I want to send over some files and stuff like that so perfect if you've got an Android device any Android device and you're using any other like Apple product or you maybe you want to send something to a friend who hasn't got WhatsApp etc send anywhere is the way to do it next up is an app called Spectre now on the iPhone as you know it's got a night mode now I'm looking to do some light trails and stuff with the mobile phone so when I head over to the state this is what I want to use so I haven't actually used it just yet but you can change the shutter speed you can make it stable or unstable, it's up to you, you select it. You can then click light trails at the top, auto, on or off. Click on the screen, you can then adjust your brightness like you can for the normal camera. But I did try and sketch some light trails when I very first got the phone and I took it to the States. It wouldn't work. Someone recommended Spectre. That's the app that I'm going to be checking out when I head back over to the States. But I've got it there, it's ready to roll. And I probably will do some testing over here. But you'll see more of that on Instagram. So if you head over to Instagram, follow me over there i'll be posting some stories and stuff like that that i've taken probably with the osmo mobile 3 if you haven't seen that video i'll leave it linked above for you guys to check out next is an app called retouch now i've already got something lined up here so if i click home i can go to albums i can go to tutorials info at the bottom but i can go to latest edits at the top so if i click that i've already got one lined up if i click the back arrow i can go to object removal now i'm going to remove the ford logo from the screen i just color it in so a little bad colouring but obviously just for the video go and boom for the logo is no more it's just pure screen if i click the back arrow at the top twice three times there we go it's back to where it wants to be but it's just a quick removal so say like you've got a lamp post in the way you want to remove it anything in the way of your pictures that's making it messy just take it out dead easy to use you've got the lasso tool the eraser you know there's loads of different things you can do with retouch as i've said all the apps will be linked down below for you guys for easy access so be sure to check them out last up is an app called double t now it's by filmic pro 
and it's perfect for the iPhone. So if you click the little lens button here in the bottom corner, you get this. So you've got your ultra wide, your wide, your telephoto, and of course your selfie cam. Now you can select two cameras to use, 24 frames per second, click confirm. And now you've got your two cameras, you can move this one to wherever you want it. And it will also record like this, or you can record it as two separate tracks. Now I'm thinking this is going to be perfect for when you're vlogging and you want to do like a POV. So obviously your face in like the little box and then a POV shot of what you're looking at. Which is going to be perfect for that. I'm going to do more on the Double Take app when I head over to the state. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. I have used it a little bit to make a couple of little videos on the car and stuff like that. More to come with that video very soon. So guys, what did you think of those apps for February and March? Is there any apps that you think I should check out? If you want to check those apps that I've mentioned, the link down below for you guys so you can just go straight to them and don't have to worry. Let me know if there's any I need to check out and what you think of the apps I've checked out right here. And if you've downloaded any of them, be sure to let me know in the comments down below this video. But until the next one and until the Galaxy S20 Ultra arrives, then we'll be doing a lot of videos with that going forward. Thanks so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. If you liked it, drop a like. If you loved it, drop a sub. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take it easy and I'll see you all really soon.